News 8 at 10 starts now. And right now at 10 o'clock, allegations of sexual abuse and unknown injections for cross-country runners rocking Huntington University. Two former student athletes claim that they were victims of NASA-esque treatment at the Christian College. News 8's Danielle Zolkowski joins us now to break down those allegations. Danielle. The 33-page document filed in federal court lays out claims of sexual abuse, including rape of one of the victims and forced injections and pills of unknown origins at the hands of former Huntington University cross-country and track host Nicholas Johnson. The two women named in the document identify as former cross-country athletes at the university. Their lawyer explains this lawsuit is bigger than just them. There's at least one adult victim of sexual abuse, one minor victim of sexual abuse, and an innumerable number of people who were injected under false pretenses or against their will. Hannah Stoffel and Emma Wilson are the two victims named in the lawsuit. News 8 typically does not name the victims of sexual crimes, but is doing so with the agreement of their attorneys. John Little says he knows there are more victims when it comes to both the sexual abuse and the performance-enhancing drugs. This was not happening in the dark. Um, Nick's behavior was entirely observable, and his history of performance-enhancing drugs was known publicly before he even got to Huntington. So, you know, this is this is on Huntington. The suit alleges these athletes were given unknown injections, pills, and creams, and told this was part of a study endorsed by Nike and sanctioned by Huntington University's athletic director. They didn't know what they were taking. They didn't. They took it under false pretenses, and some of the stuff they straight up did not consent to and were forced to take physically forced. On top of Nicholas Johnson, the suit names his wife and assistant coach Lauren Johnson, assistant coach Curtis Hines, the university, and the board of trustees. The suit says each person or entity knew of the abuse or should have known. This is a instance where you have a coach on day-to-day -day contact. You know, he's, he's the champion of these girls' athletic dreams. He told them, I'm the only one who can get you there. He was their confidant all the time, and he took advantage of them in a very overt way. Johnson was accused of child seduction, kidnapping, and identity deception in December of 2020, but only served time for the identity deception charge. The others were dropped when the underage victim became uncooperative. It was at this point he was fired from his coaching job. Little represented survivors of sexual abuse in the Larry Nasser case. He says these women coming forward is important in stopping other cases of abuse. Interactions between athletes and coaches children and adults uh, or adults and adults always needs to be observable and interruptible. The legal team for these women is encouraging unknown victims to come forward. Nicholas Johnson and his attorney both declined to comment for this story. Huntington University and Nike have yet to respond to News 8's request for comment. In the newsroom, Danielle Zolkowski, Wish TV, wishtv.com and follow us on Facebook.